Right, let's show you how we can buy Adobe Lightroom on your computer. The first thing we need to do to get started is head down to the link in the description down below. This is going to take you across to the Adobe website. We're going to head up to the top left hand side, click on creativity and design, and then we're going to head down under featured products and select Lightroom. Now this is going to take you across to the Lightroom homepage and you can have a look here at all the amazing things that you get access to within Adobe Lightroom. You can have a look at all the features and the great thing about this is it gives you all of the tutorials that you need to get you started using Lightroom and maximizing all of the tools that you get from Adobe in this amazing program. So to get started, if you are ready to buy Lightroom, you can click on the Buy Now button. If you just want to start a free trial and you get a seven-day free trial, if you want to go that route, you can click on the free trial. We're going to click Buy Now because in this video, we are teaching you how to buy Lightroom. And then we have a few choices to make. So we're going to choose between individuals, business, student and teachers, and school and universities. So select the one that applies to you. We're going to select individuals. And then you're going to choose a pricing plan. There's the Lightroom only plan. And this pricing might look a little bit different to you depending on when you are watching this video. So have a look at the costing. Or there's the photography plan, which gives you access to Lightroom and Photoshop for a pretty good price, a little bit more than the single app plan, but it gives you access to both of them. And Photoshop is a really cool tool if you haven't got into using it yet. The other option is to go for the Creative Cloud All Apps plan. Now this is the one that we use in the business because we use a whole lot of other programs from Adobe inside of the Creative Suite. So if that is the way you want to go and you want access to all of the amazing Adobe apps, then select the Creative Cloud All Apps. So we're going to select this one. Just before you do, there's an option to add a 30-day free trial of Adobe Stock, which is a really nice thing to have so you can see the amazing stock images that they have that you can use inside of Lightroom. Make sure you choose a payment plan once you have decided on the option you're going to go with. So we have a monthly option, we have an annual paid monthly, and we have an annual prepaid. Now the difference between the annual paid monthly and the annual prepaid, because it feels a little bit counterintuitive to have this up there as an extra option, is that the annual paid monthly is you're committing to a full year of this payment plan but you are paying it monthly if you don't want to commit to the full year then you must go for the monthly option yes it is a little bit more expensive but there are no cancellation fees if you decide I only want to use it for three or four months and then I'm good to go you can go for the monthly option that'll work out cheaper in the long run if you want to do less than 12 months if you're all good to go, you know you want the program for a full 12 months, then you can go for the annual paid monthly. Just be aware that if you do decide to cancel after five or six months or before the 12 months, there will be cancellation fees that you will need to pay. If you've got lots of bucks and you're ready to go annual prepaid right up front, then that will be the cheapest option over the 12 months. So choose the option that is right for you. We're going to go with the annual prepaid and then click on the blue continue button now this is the most important part to check is how much is due now according to the option that you have chosen and then when the renewal or your monthly payment is due to check that amount if you went for the free trial option then due now should be zero and then in seven days time check the date then it should have the full amount whether you went for the annual or the monthly payment. Now we need to enter our email address and then click on the blue continue button. In the next step, step two of two, you're going to have to enter your payment information to complete your purchase and then it will allow you to download the Creative Cloud app which will let you download Lightroom and Photoshop and any of the other apps that you decided to go with.
Now you have access to Lightroom. I hope you enjoy using the program. And if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure you let us know by hitting that like button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.